Did you know that 10 out of 1 people, wait, no. Did you know that 1 out of 10 people in the UK suffer from some degree of dyslexia? I mean, probably not. It's not really something you'd go home and search up. But why am I saying this? Well, my name's Conor Wainwright and I am that 1 out of 10. The chosen one. And this is why being dyslexic sucks. But first, what is dyslexia? Well, the scientific definition states that dyslexia is a learning difficulty that primarily affects reading, spelling, and memory. However, how I like to put it is, I'm a 15-year-old boy who can't read that piece of colored plastic, who can't spell the word chocolate without a dictionary, and shares the same memory capacity as a goldfish. Now, those three things are only the beginning. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the reading out loud, the handwriting, and best of all, the headaches. I mean, who does not love a headache? I clearly do, because you see, I get to wake up with a headache, go to school with a headache, come home from school with a headache, and go to bed with a headache for that 10 seconds apiece in the morning before we go all again, get in. <laughs> now, we have a saying in my house, and it is primarily used against me. My handwriting is so bad, my mum says that I could be a doctor. <laughs> And I love that, because I think it's her sneaky way of telling me that she's proud of me. And she thinks I'm going to do amazing things with my life. Or maybe she's just taking the mick out of my handwriting. <laughs> now, some people are scared of the dark. Some people are scared of clowns. Some people are scared of that dry kiss from their grandma when they go to stay over. <laughs> Ugh. But I'm, I'm scared of reading out loud. Why? Well, if you was me, you would be too the fingers on the page, the stuttering, and best of all, that one kid at the front of the class that yells, can you read? I have such kind and supportive classes. <laughs> now, think about how this affects me. Think about how this affects the 6.3 million people in the UK that suffer with dyslexia every day. And even though being dyslexic may be hard, I have learned one thing. We shouldn't let being different stop us. So, use the fact that you're different, share your view on the world, and don't let being different define who you have to be. And maybe just then, like me, you'll see that being the chosen one might not actually suck after all. <laughs>